What up, YouTube Asian Persuasion? Asian Persuasion. You already know we're at UDS Tulsa, and we're my boy Trip. Yo, what's up? What's, what's up, up, baby? You know Trip's in here. I don't know why I can't talk anymore, but this is the end of the long day. Too. That's why. So uh, we're here with a first place regional deck profile right here. You want all these new things. You don't have to grind through this Cali stuff. The reason I did this is because I really don't feel like playing 10 rounds in California anymore. It is mentally and physically exhausting. Yeah. But I love California. Best state. <laughs> That's facts. Sure. I'm moving yeah, here soon. I love it. I absolutely love it. But yeah, no. Uh, played Mech Knight Invoked because this man has been on me to play Mech Knight Invoked for a while. And I didn't listen and I paid the price. I died. I died. Time, I died like two events in a row because I didn't play it, and he went really far. But uh, main event, Johnny and I played the same exact deck, card for card. You guys probably already seen the profile. Deck was nice. I died round eight. Yeah, I died round eight or whatever it was. So yeah. So I, I had no way of making day two, but whatever. I like the deck. It was good practice for Vegas. But like I said, I didn't want to play a ten round regional. So I played the regional flight. I actually lost my first one. I lost to Geist. Sucks. Like it literally sucks. Like oh my God, they hard draw the faker. There's nothing you can do sometimes, but. I got my redemption because I 2 0 Geist in the finals. I was very happy. Yeah. I watched that. I, op I opened, watched him. I opened, I opened the God Hand. I opened Double Lightning Strike with uh, Red Reboot. I actually drew the one of uh, Red Reboot. It was insane. I didn't even use it to kill him. I used it to just do that and then wipe his whole back row. So it was nice. But yeah. Whoa. This deck is nuts. Like, apparently, this whole deck is going up, but Mech Knights in general. Well, I don't even know if it's Mech Knights. The whole, the whole Alistair package is nice. So yeah. It Shout out to not. Richard. He finally signed my. Uh, my thing because I came to Tulsa. So. That's my dad. Yeah, you already know. But we'll get into it. So yeah, yeah. You play these regional flights for those of you that don't want to play a really long regional. You play four rounds. You win all four. You get your invite. You get the mat. It's like you won or top the regional. Yeah. So I mean, you if you win want, or you lose though. You but to be warned, or, oh. you will play anything. Absolutely yeah. anything. So anything, it's crazy. Bro. Yeah, I talked enough. Anyways. Three Alistair, card's insane. One card, literally one card Macabre, as long as they don't crow it or anything happens to it. So it's nuts. Mech Knights, three purple. I played only two blue. That was a difference. Johnny played three. I cut the Mech Knight link and I cut the trap. They just did nothing for me in all of Swiss at the UDS, but that's just me. Uh, we might test them again. Uh, just one mo one move man and the one uh, yellow. Yellow was insane. Yellow is insane because like you really do get to pop a back row and people don't realize. Like You summon it, they don't know what's happening, and then you activate, you pop their back row, and there's like, oh. So yeah, the card's really nice. So. That's all the mech knights, all that. Hand traps, this was the best. Like, this should have been in our main deck. That was such a huge mistake. Everyone knows the homie DD Crow. And yeah, this card is nuts, especially because Lunalite, I lost to two Lunalites in the UDS and Swiss. So you need this card. You really need this card against like everything. It's good against everything, except pendulums. We don't, we don't beat pendulums. Pendulum best deck. Oh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you already know, baby. Uh, this is a requirement because of Spiral and because of all the searching decks do. But I'll be honest, against Lunalites, against a really good players, this card sucks. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, you can talk to these really good Lunalite players. You would rather have Crow to interrupt, like, their tar their uh, Tiger guy. Well, when they go Tiger, get the guy, and you just Crow it. Like, it's so much more impactful than this because they can keep playing even after they get drolled. So, but you need this for Spiral and a lot of things, and it makes Raijin, so that's nice. And then uh, we did the same thing. Was it two Ash and two Phantasme? Uh, this is just for rogue stuff and like whatever it's not that good it gets chain blocked a lot but it also makes purgatrio which can be game by itself so you have to play it and it's also a cross sheep target cross sheep all the all these all these, all these little guy not. all these little guys matter because they're cross sheep targets so if anytime you send them to the grave for anything that comes up a lot too and then two of this was because you need to fix your hands too many mech knights too many things you can't really do anything and you need it to be able to like see more cards see more answers especially going second but uh this card i mean you got to play it while it's still good so yep and then, like Johnny said, this was card was insane. Being able to just Man. kaiju, literally you take away a problem in, instantly, and they can't do anything to it. They can't respond to it. So this card's really good. Really, really strong. And you play the, the smallest one so you can run it over. Mm -hmm. That was important. That's all the monsters. Uh, spells, obviously, more copies of Alistair. Uh, you have to play three, 100%. Not only because you play Desires, but you need to be you to play this if you hard, if you hard draw. You want to hard draw it more because you want to open Alistair, they stop Alistair, and you still have this. You just do the one card combo, and that's it. Yep. It's insane, so that's really important. This card is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I love that card. Shout out to my, shout out to my brother, Pete Navarro. I love you, man. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have these. You already know. I love you. This card is insane. <laughs> Everyone forgets that it's a Raigeki, and I can't stress that enough because I stole a couple games because I Raigeki'd my opponent because everyone's thinking about the back row effect. A lot of people forget about the Raigeki effect. If you don't have your protected board, it's yep. gone. So it's a tactic position monster. Yeah, I think this card. <laughs> I think this card is absolutely necessary in some shape or form because uh, it gives you the versatility that you need. Oh, also, 
if someone saw him judgment is that shit. Oh, yeah. just know you can activate. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. Just exactly. Know. exactly. You just play a second one, so it's nice. That's funny, man. And uh, Triff said in his profile, but this card is insane. This card is ridiculous. Is like yeah. because of Cross Sheep, this card just became infinitely better. Like literally, uh, you can just thousand eyes twice, which is like the dream to thousand eyes take a monster, link away, cross sheep, do it again, bring back the thousand eyes, do it again. Like that's <laughs> so ridiculous. And also Kaliga. Nice. People get scared yeah. when you insta fusion Kaliga, and yeah, it's crazy. It is. Then uh, two desires. Can't believe. It. I just won't, don't want to play three. I was trying three, and I just I drew two too many times, and yeah, two is the perfect number for this deck. And then because it's at two instead of three, this is my favorite card, and it's at two. So I mean, you took Colossus from me too. What else can I say? Yeah, that's why I'm not playing Colossus. Sorry, Chris guys. Dude, they bro. took his Electromite. Let him know you want one. Yeah. Hey, bro, let me, he, let me tell you something. He, he don't need Electromite. He got Crowley. Let me tell you guys something. I don't need Electromite. And you guys don't need Colossus, because second best deck, McKnight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. baby. Hey, I like that. Yeah, I second like that. Advice, right, second yeah. advice. And then uh, just the one terraforming. Like Johnny said, this card is very average now because you usually get drolled on it, and yeah, it sucks. Time, and uh, since I cut the Mystic Mine, you'll notice he played the Mystic Mine. I cut it, put it in the side, actually, because the card just did nothing for me. The, only, the best thing it did for me was set it over Meltdown and then Lightning Storm them, so. Because I had no more face-up cards, so that yeah. was kind of cool. And then this in the main deck is ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's so ridiculous. Well, everyone Even if they tell you to go first, which happened a lot, so these regional, regional plays, the only thing that kind of sucks is everyone can kind of see what everyone's playing. And oh, everyone, right. everyone, you elbow room. They're, so they're literally, like, in the last round, like, I literally, like, like it was crazy that he told me to go first. I'm just like, God, I'm like, of course, because they knew, so. But it didn't matter. One card, one card Macabre is nice. Yeah, Macabre chill. Yeah. So that's it, 42 cards, same as Johnny's, just the couple changes. Extra, double Macabre, you need it, it's insane. This you only summon when it's game time. When it's game time, it's really game time. I had one game where I did this, attacked into a, into a guy, and tr dropped triple Alistair. That guy lost. Yeah, he lost, but it was it was nuts. Uh, that this is really good actually. Like I played against Blunder Patrol round one of the UDS. I don't know what any of those cards do, but what saved me is that this quick effect when they normal and just stop their turn was ridiculous. And this is really good just in general. Like stopping their 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 uh, normal summon is ridiculous. Good against Solid too. And then this guy gets summoned a lot. Everyone gets scared when you summon this. A lot of times I was summoning it just to link climb. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's so or good. just put an infusion target. There exactly. Exactly. Using There's no reason not to. You can bring it back with cross sheep too, because uh, when you watch Carl's profile, he talked about that. Like he ends on that. Yeah, it ends, ends on, on the board. Like they can't play. So it's nuts. And then this, because it's insane. You can, if you can use it twice with cross sheep, you're living the dream. Yeah. Uh, links. So this, like Johnny said, this is the one card. Macabre combo. Macabre. Uh, summon. Summon Alistair. Turn it into this. Turn it into this. Banish this. Add back the Alistair. It's insane. Don't, just don't get crowed. Yeah, you really, to, ho you really to. hope you don't get crowed. Crow is insane. And then I played this. This was another difference. I moved. I took out the Mech Knight for this. This card's really cool. It comes up against random monsters. In testing, it came up against a Zeroboros, which is really hard to out. I had so many banished cards. He had so many banished cards, but then you just kick it. Yeah, and this goes back to the extra deck, so you get to use it again. So that's kind of cool. I really like this card. I think this card's underrated it's for a common. Scramble, baby. Best card. Hands down. Card this card makes Boral Sword in two seconds. Like, this card is ridiculous. Just don't mess up and forget that. Make sure you have a target in there. <laughs> make sure yeah, you for have real. A I, can, I can't tell you how many times, like, I was like, oh, wait, I don't have a target in there. That sucks. But yeah, that card's nuts. It's really expensive, rare. Great. And this, this standard, you make it. We don't play Book of the Law, but you make this. This is really important when you don't see Alistair, but you just get the requirements to make this, and then you hard draw invocation. You can just get this out of the way and literally make a Macabre. So that's nice. And then generic stuff. Because you have to play it. <laughs> this card. This was the card that like you you didn't play. I I put it in there just because I didn't know what else to play. But it won me my finals because literally game one was almost like it was like over 20 minutes in game one. I made this against Altergeist and it was uh it had the protection effect and I boosted it to 45. He went through every Altergeist card in his deck and couldn't out it. So it was insane. This card, this card is ridiculous. Everyone knows I love this card. And then this card. I summoned this card more times than I have my entire life. And I've been playing a lot of decks that play Boral Sword, but it just never came up. This time it came up all the time. So This deck, you can do it so easily because your Mech Knights are huge. Anything over 2,000 plus Boral Sword is game, so it's ridiculous. You're not wrong. Side this because we play Sanctum. I drew it, but ugh, sucks. <laughs> but no, but when you, when you resolve it, it's ridiculous. You get a whole turn. Uh, that more back row hate this I'm probably taking this out but it is degenerate for a reason clear their board clear whatever slap this down <laughs> look at his face pretty much Free win. deck them out if they don't have an out and then the already aforementioned sanctums because it's good uh, two of this for me this was okay um, so I played against Tenyi, and what's terrifying about Tenyi is I didn't know they were a Vanity's Fiend deck, and literally when I played against that, like, he literally tributed for Vanity's Fiend, I was like, oh, I have Lightning Storm, which can out it, but you need to have more outs to it, because Vanity's Fiend, you really can't play. Like, you can't play at all, so that was important. And then we just did the Floodgates for, uh, going first. 
Uh, they're both good. I just didn't know. Like, I didn't want to max out on any of them. Triff talked about ratios. He's right. Like, there's you don't want to overside. You overside with the deck even going first. Like, it takes away what your deck does. You still want to see Alistair. Like, Alistair and Floodgate, fine. Good enough. Uh, Macabre Floodgate, fine. And then the win button, which I actually drew. <laughs> I actually drew it. In the final, I, I drew it in the final. But but I didn't do what everyone does. You know, you're doing your thing. They trap you. You do this. You set whatever. I set it. And then he did some stuff. And when he flipped up the trap that summons, I flipped it. it, it, it he put it back down, put another trap card. And then literally on my turn, I just literally lightning went storm. lightning stormed everything. And it was it was over. Because you couldn't do anything. He had Imperial Order, too. And he had searched the Imperial Order off duality. So it was insane. So, yeah. Jeez. That card was literally the Weeboo button that won. But, yeah. The Weeboo button. Yeah, that was it. I'm just so happy. I don't have to play 10 rounds of regionals anymore because that's exhausting and now you're gonna see slim at net no oh, you guys yeah <laughs> now what well, vegas next week you already yeah, know yeah you already yeah, know it's gonna be wild know. but yeah uh yeah shout out to all these guys yeah, i love steven i love oh yeah my, my channel slim Yourself, baby slim, yeah slim slim ygo oh, i got like seven billion names depending on how you search it but yeah it's cool i love this deck Thank you, Johnny, for making me play it again. Of course. Made you're, me realize why I love it so much. To all, everyone that loves me playing this deck, this man is the man behind it for making me play it these days. And yeah, we're ripping other decks and stuff. A shout out because I really, really, really <laughs> like this new deck box, box is nice. actually beautiful. This mat is really nice too, so yeah. it's pretty cool, but yeah. So look at you, Slim. Whenever you guys go to events and you don't do well in the main event or whatever, you just don't make the cut, just play side events. They're yeah, fun. Man. And if you really, this is the best side event in my opinion. That if you, Unless you're playing Attack of the Giant card, this is the best one in my opinion. Yeah. Because. It, it's e it's easier. Four rounds is way better than ten. So, Cali is so no joke, yeah, bro. yeah, no. Midwest is nice. Eight rounds, lunch, lunch break though. <laughs> the drink, lunch break yeah. though. Yeah, still and nice still out early. early. Yeah, well, the sun's still up. It's crazy. But yeah, yeah. Shout out to Richard. Thank you for finally signing <laughs> this. <laughs> Made me happy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I love you guys. Thank I'm you for watching. Out, bro. Yep. Peace.